क्वेश्चन नंबर 101 अ प्रोकैरियोटिक सेल डस नॉट हैव फर्स्ट ऑप्शन राइबोसोम्स सेकंड माइक्रोट्यूब्यूल्स एंड फ्लैजुला थर्ड सर्कुलर जीनोमिक डीएनए फोर्थ इंक्लूजन बॉडीज अ प्रोकैरियोटिक सेल हैज राइबोसोम्स सर्कुलर जीनोमिक डीएनए इंक्लूजन बॉडीज बट इट डस नॉट हैव माइक्रोट्यूब्यूल्स इन फ्लैजुला बिकॉज माइक्रोट्यूब्यूल्स आर प्रेजेंट ओनली इन द यूकैरियोटिक सेल्स सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फॉर द गिवन क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन नंबर टू लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर हंड्रेड एंड टू रीड द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट एंड सेलेक्ट द करेक्ट ऑप्शन स्टेटमेंट ए पॉलर मॉलिक्यूल्स कैन मूव अक्रॉस द मेम्रेन बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ सिंपल डिफ्यूजन along the concentration gradient statement b the nuclear matrix or nucleoplasm contains nucleolus and chromatin first option only statement a is correct second only statement b is correct third both statements a and b are correct fourth both statements a and b are incorrect so the statement a says that the pollen molecules can move across the membrane by the process of simple diffusion no because the membrane is non polar so the non polar molecules can easily move through the process of simple diffusion but not the polar molecules so this statement is wrong the nuclear matrix or nucleoplasm contains the nucleolus and the chromatin yes this is true so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's move to the next question question number 103 if a meiocyte of a diploid organism in g1 phase has 20 chromosomes and 40 picogram dna then what will be the number of chromosomes a and amount of dna b in each cell after completion of meiosis one first option a 20 b 40 picogram second option a 10 b 20 picogram third a 10 b 40 gram fourth a 20 and b 80 picogram what is a meiocyte a meiocyte is a cell which is undergoing the meiosis or which undergoes the meiosis so you can understand with the help of this diagram easily if you consider this is g1 phase this is s this is g2 and this is meiosis 1 and this is meiosis 2 if a meiocyte in a diploid organism in g1 phase has 20 chromosomes means in g1 phase it has 20 chromosomes and 40 picogram dna then what will be the number of a chromosomes and amount of dna in each cell after completion of meiosis 1 so you have to find out here in s phase the number of chromosomes remains the same that is 20 but the amount of dna doubles so it will be 80 picogram i hope you are getting it in g2 phase again the number of chromosome will remain the same and the dna amount will be the same after meiosis 1 the number of chromosome reduces to half as meiosis 1 is reductional division and you will get the haploid cells so in meiosis 1 the number of chromosome in each cell or in the each haploid cell will be 10 and dna content will be 40 picogram and what about the meiosis 2 products after meiosis 1 you will get the four haploid cells as meiosis 2 is the equational division you will get the same number of chromosome but dna content will reduce to half that is 20 picogram so in meiosis 2 product you will get 10 chromosome number and the 20 picogram dna but in the question it is asked that after the completion of meiosis 1 so it should be 10 and 40 so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question question number 104 in which stage of prophase 1 dissolution of synaptonemal complex occurs first option pacotene second diplotene third zygotene fourth dikinase so the prophase 1 is subdivided into many phases that are leptotene zygotene pacotene diplotene and dikinase the synaptonemal complex formation takes place during the zygotene stage so that the homologous chromosomes remain together but after the crossing over in the pacotene it dissolves 
in the diplotein stage so the correct option for the given question is option number two let's move to the next question question number 105 a living mechanical tissue is first option parenchyma second sternchyma third xylem fourth colon chyma mechanical tissue which provides the strength or the mechanical support of the plant is sclerenchyma colon chyma and the xylem but in the question it is asked that it should be living so the living mechanical tissue is the colon chyma only sclerenchyma and the xylem they are dead mechanical tissues so the correct option for the given question is option number four let's move to the next question mm -hmm. 